In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create our own collection using ArrayList. For that, we have created a class called Collection. And if you see, it's inheriting from its base class called Collection Base. Now, if I show you Collection Base, it has got this array list, which we call as inner list attribute. Now, using inner list, we can have our own collections. How we can have our own collections? By creating methods. For instance, here you can see I'm saying create a function called add, which will accept a parameter of type object, and that item will be added to this inner list. Now, inner list is of type array list, which is provided by this abstract class collection base. And this one resides inside system dot collections namespace. Similarly, once we have added the item, we can also remove it. Now, removing an item is pretty easy. Similar to add, we have remove where we accept a parameter of type object and the same parameter is then passed to the inner list dot remove method of the array list and it will remove that item from the array list. Then we have clear, clear basically clear search all the elements inside the array list. So we will be back to square one and the contents of the array list will be deleted. Count is going to return the total number of elements that are present in the inner list or our array list. Now to implement this, we'll go to our program.cs file and here you can see I've created an instance of the collection class that we just created. Here we have the instance name as courses and we are adding some courses to this collection, JavaScript, SP.NET, MVC, C Sharp, Python. Now using for each loop, we are simply writing the course names and here you'll notice we are finding out how many number of courses are there in the courses collection by using the count method and then we are removing one course from the list or the collection and then we are checking out what is the total count after that we are clearing it out and then we are checking out what is the total count now if I run this one in over here You'll notice initially it's printing JavaScript, ASP.NET, MVC, C Sharp, Python. Then when we were saying number of courses, so total courses at that point was four. We removed Python from it. The count reduced by one and here number of courses three. Then we called courses dot clear. And here you can see now the number of courses is set to zero. So all the items from the collections have been removed. And that's how easy it is in C Sharp to implement data structures. Now in the next lecture, we'll be covering generics.